Hello. So today I'm going to answer the question, what can I hand over to a virtual assistant? Um, this is actually something that I just wrote a blog post for, for therapy notes. So I'm going to put in um, the resources, um, the link to that blog post so we can go a little bit deeper there. So there are three major problems that I find that, that therapists have in turning things over to a virtual assistant. The first is that they don't know what to hand over. The second is they feel like I don't have the money to pay somebody to do these things that I'm totally capable of doing. And the third is they don't know how to manage a, an employee or a contractor. So for the sake of time in this life, I'm first going to answer, um, you know, basically like what you can hand over because that's what the question that came to me was, but you guys can check out some information about the others and that therapy notes blog. So basically you can hand over anything that doesn't require you, like your brain, your ears, your mouth, like anything that is not required by you, the therapist, you can hand over. So some examples of that, and there are many more examples I'd love for you guys to share in comments, some examples that you have found or anything I'm missing, but answering phones, you don't need to do that. Uh, scheduling people, returning voicemails, checking and answering emails, um, loading blog posts or vlog posts onto your platforms or your websites, uh, website maintenance, social media scheduling, social media posts, um, social media strategy, keeping up with financial software like QuickBooks, uh, billing. These are all things you do not need to do. The only thing you really truly need to be doing in your practice, the thing that require you are the therapy, the charting, and if you're doing videos, probably needs to be you doing the videos. Um, otherwise, it's uh, it's turning it over and managing some of the control issues that might come over with the idea of having somebody else do these things that yes, you're totally capable of doing, but it probably doesn't make sense for you to do all of them. Um, and as you'll see in that blog post, it, it makes more financial sense for you to pay somebody else to do it. Um, oh, another thing, cleaning your office, you don't need to pay somebody to do, I mean, you do need to pay somebody to do that. You don't need to be the most expensive housekeeper ever. Um, so you can go to the Therapy Notes blog that I put over in the resources. If you need help with outsourcing, we have a whole course about that in the Abundance Party. It's one of the things in there that, you know, it's basically the one-stop shop for learning how to build a really successful private practice in there. Um, it's only $49 a month. You can check it out at AbundanceParty.com. And if you have questions for Ask Allison, I'd love to answer them. Just shoot me an email over at ask at AbundancePracticeBuilding.com. Thanks.